In Cypler Mind Mapping, you can create a node which lists all PDF files that are stored in a certain directory on your hard drive. Let's assume you find an interesting PDF file on a website. You store it in your literature folder on your hard drive. Now Cypler Mind Mapping will display the PDF file in your mind map. As you like, this happens automatically or manually. You can open a PDF file directly in your mind map. Just click on it and it will open in your favorite PDF reader. Now read the PDF and whenever you find an interesting information, create a bookmark. The name of the bookmark should briefly summarize the interesting information you have read. If you like, you could also highlight the interesting information with a highlighter pen in the PDF. Do this for all information you might want to reference or that you might need later. Back in Cypler Mind Mapping, you can import the PDF bookmarks. This way, you will have all the interesting information that you might need later for your academic paper in your mind map. It's time to sort your PDF files and bookmarks. Just create new nodes in your mind map and name them. In our example, we have named the nodes academic search engines, mind mapping and information retrieval because these are the research fields we are interested in. You can now easily drag and drop the PDF files into the created categories. Eventually, you will have a great overview of all the PDF files you have read and their contents. Whenever you need more information than is displayed in your mind map, double click the corresponding node. Then the PDF file will open and you can select the appropriate bookmark and the original information will be displayed. One special feature of Cypler mind mapping is its integration with reference managers. You can simply add a reference key to a node. However, when you are using a BibTeX-based reference manager, such as JabRef, Cypler mind mapping assigns BibTeX keys automatically. You just need to link the PDF files in your reference manager, and Cypler mind mapping will be able to extract the corresponding BibTeX keys automatically. If you don't like the reference keys to be displayed, you can turn them off.
You can use Cypler mind mapping also for drafting a new academic paper. In our example we are going to draft a paper about enhancing expert search systems with information retrieved from mind maps. Our literature mind map contains now about a hundred papers. To find the information you need, Cypler mind mapping offers a search function. In this example we are searching for literature about expert search systems. More specific we want to know how other researchers have analyzed the expertise of employees. Now that we have found the information, we copy all the relevant notes and insert them into our new mind map in which we draft the paper. When the paper is finally drafted in the mind map, the paper needs to be written with your favorite word processing software, such as Microsoft Word or OpenOffice. When you want to reference one of the papers you have read, you can just copy the reference keys from Cypler mind mapping via the clipboard to your word processing software. Finally, you just need to create the bibliography and your new academic paper is ready.